So I'm doing part A of the 2017 FRQ, and part A is asking how many pounds of bananas are removed from the display table during the first two hours the store is open. So since it's asking for bananas removed from the display, we have to use the equation F of T. So it's asking us during the first two hours the store is open. So that means we have to use the integral from zero because that's the initial amount to two, which is the two hours after the store um, after the store is opened. So and we're finding bananas removed. So we have to use f of t dt. And then if we plug this into the calculator, we'll get our answer. So. I'm writing f of t here, but in the calculator, I already stored the equation so as y1. So we can just go math 9, and then the integral from 0 to 2 of y1. And instead of dt, I'm writing dx because that's the variable I chose to use. And then we press enter. And that's the amount. That's how many pounds of bananas are removed during the first two hours. So the answer for this is going to be 20.051 pounds. And it's rounded to three decimal places. This is number 2b, which is asking to find f prime of 7 and explain the meaning of that answer in the context of the equation. And our equation is f of t equals 10 plus 0 0.8 t times the sine of t cubed over 100. And this equation leads you to um, pounds per hour. That is the rate at which bananas are being removed from a store at our given time t. So to find the derivative, f prime of 7, we can use our calculator, and we can do math 8, and we can type in our variable t, and we can type in our equation, 10 plus 0 0.8 t times the sine of t cubed divided by 100, and our t equals 7. So, that's our answer right there. Um, we get negative 8.119, so we can say that f prime of 7 is approximately negative 8.120, and our units for this would be pounds per hour squared or pounds per hour per hour and so what this means is that um so our f of t is pounds per hour so the derivative of that is that um the rate of bananas being removed at exactly seven hours is uh, decreasing by 8.120 pounds per hour squared. So if we were just plug in for f of t, like f of 7, then that would give us the rate at which bananas are being removed at 7 hours after the opening. But our derivative here is saying that the rate of bananas being removed is decreasing at 7 hours by 8.12 pounds per hour squared. So I got part C. Is the number of pounds of bananas on display table increasing or decreasing at time to equal 5? Give a reason for your answer. <coughs> Give a reason for your answer. So, in order to figure out um, if it's increasing or decreasing, we need to first um, determine the amount of bananas that are put on the table 
and the amount of bananas that have been taken off the table at t equals 5. <coughs> so the way we do this is we do g of 5, which is the amount of bananas on the table at t equals 5, minus f of 5, which is <coughs> the banana amount of bananas being taken off at t equals 5, and you would get the rate of change, right? So, <coughs> this first line here, that's G, that's <coughs> that's what I was when you plug in G of 5, you would get 11.532. When you plug in F of 5, you get 13.795. And when you subtract them, you get minus 2.263. And because g of 5 minus f of 5 is less than 0, we can conclude, oopsies, I don't know what that is. We can conclude that at t equals 5, the number of bananas on the display table is decreasing. Okay, because g of 5 minus f of 5 is less than 0 at t equals 5, the number of bananas on the display table is decreasing. So the second problem I'm doing is part D. And part B is asking how many pounds of bananas are on the display t at time t equals 8. So t equals 8. That means we need to find how many bananas were added and removed um, from the store opened to the 8th hour the store was open. So when the store opens, it starts with 50 pounds of bananas already lined up. And then the employees are adding bananas, and that's shown by g of t. So up to 8 hours, we can just find that by taking the integral. So the integral from the store opened at this, the employee started adding bananas at the third hour the store was opened. So the integral won't start from zero for this one. So it's three to eight, the integral from three to eight of G of T, which is the rate at which the employees are adding bananas to the stand. And then we need to subtract that from how many bananas were removed since the store opened. And that's going to be the integral from 0 to 8, because customers removed it since the store was open, of f of t dt. So now we can just plug this into the calculator. I already have them both stored. So g of t is y2, and f of t is y1. So all we have to do is plug that in. So if we do 50 plus, then we go math 9, 3 to 8 of y2, then x, because that's the variable I chose to use in the calculator instead of t, minus the integral from 0 to 8. This is the bananas removed of y1, which is f of t, dx. And then if we press enter, it's calculating, we get, so how many pounds of bananas are on display at the time t equals 8? So that's going to be 23.347. And and if we want the answer to be rounded, it'll just be 23 pounds of bananas at time t equals 8.